Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, I was just checking my channel and I've noticed I haven't um, done a video on my uh, giant rainforest mantis female for a while and uh, her abdomen's looking a little bit on the small side so I think I'm uh, going to give her a feed today. She's doing perfectly fine. Uh, as you know, I've only got uh, red runners left and you can see on her uh, abdomen there, them... Uh, segments on her abdomen and she's only got one two three four five about six so that does indicate that she's definitely a female so yeah let's um take the enclosure off the shelf pop the lid open and uh, let's give her a feed so everyone as you can see i've picked out a a large red runner from my tub so yeah let's just take the uh, lid off let's just put the roach in and uh, let's see it hunt its uh, meal. So everyone, she's uh, seen her meal, and uh, hopefully, there you go, everyone. That didn't take long. <laughs> That's only taken probably about a minute or so and uh, yeah she should uh, definitely like this my other uh, giant rainforest mantis my adult female she's still doing perfectly fine she does move around a hell of a lot so yeah I'll uh, just quickly show you her and there she is everyone there's my adult uh, giant rainforest mantis and you can see her abdomen's gone black that just means that she's uh full up with food um she actually matured about six months ago and she's still doing perfectly fine very very active um especially during at the night time she's always moving around and you know climbing everywhere and yeah she's very very active but yeah as you can see she's doing perfectly fine and uh let's go on to the uh back onto the other mantis uh, there she is. Looks like she's only got the part of the leg and the roach is uh, trying to escape. But um, I had a little feeling she was going to uh, take down her meal because she hasn't been fed for probably around about uh, three or four days. And this is a, a fairly big, uh, fairly big meal. You can see, yeah, she's having a a decent. Uh, that there we go, decent fight with it. She's got it properly now. Like I always say, it's just a uh, a huge shame that uh, mantis don't live very long. The maximum is around about twelve months. If you get any more lifespan out of them, then uh, that's uh, a bonus. So yeah. While I'm here, everyone, let's uh, do a time lapse.
So everyone, I decided to uh, stop the time lapse there. Um, I always have trouble filming time lapses as there's no uh, light option on my iPhone, which can be very annoying. It's just trying to get the uh, decent picture and uh, with an eight megapixel camera, it's not really the best quality. So um, I always seem to have trouble anyway, but uh, hopefully that'll be uh, sorted out in the future when I get myself sorted out with a few personal things. And uh, as yet, as you can see, it's not really much left of the roach. And you can see the uh, the abdomen is uh, going black, just like the adult uh, female abdomen was going black. The segments are, so that's just an indication that she's uh, nice and full. So yeah, let's just try and get a, uh, a better uh, angle. Oh no, that's not too bad actually, I'll leave it there. So I'll, yeah, I'll keep the... Uh, I'll keep the uh, film, um, camera running and uh, let her uh, eat the uh, rest of her meal. Shouldn't be too long now, everyone. As I said, she's only got a little bit left. So, everyone, as I just said, I thought I'd just do the last part in uh, normal, normal mode, normal speed. So, yeah. This should uh, last her for probably about three or four days and I'll uh, offer her some more food. Beautiful little mantis. As I said in my previous videos, I've had to, uh, had to buy another one of these because they're so, they're very, very fascinating. And uh, she'll start to uh, groom now and clean herself. There's still a little bit of the roach left on her other, uh, other arm. Let's just zoom out a little bit, there we go. So yeah, there you go, she's just going to eat the rest of the uh, roach. So it looks like it's, oh, that's just part of the uh, substrate at the bottom there. Let's turn this a little bit more for you guys. There we go. Another problem is I should I shouldn't clean the enclosure first from the inside because it is a bit dirty, so it doesn't really uh, show you a clear picture. So yeah, I'll leave her to enjoy that rest of that meal. So she's only got a little bit left. There we go. So it's taken her probably around about uh, 20, 25 minutes to uh, heat her meal. And at the start of the video, as you've seen, it didn't really take her long to uh, capture her uh, meal. It didn't take long at all. A minute or so. So yeah, as you can see, she's only uh, she's very very small, probably only around about the two inch mark. So uh, once she uh, mounts, I'll uh, press record and uh, let everybody know. So yeah, there you go, all finished. A little bit left. So I'll leave her to relax now. And uh, thanks for watching everyone.